I'm going to show you how to apply your first Freestyle Libre 2 sensor and how to start getting your blood glucose readings and alarms in less than 5 minutes. This video is sponsored by US Med, the most trusted US distributor of Freestyle Libre supplies. Before you apply a new sensor, it's always a good idea to carefully pick the site. The only officially approved site for Freestyle Libre sensor is the back of the upper arm. So if you do not want to lose the guarantee, you should not place the sensor anywhere else. I try to rotate the sides often to prevent skin irritation and avoid any spots with scars, marks or injection sites. Next, wash the site with plain soap, dry it and clean it with an alcohol wipe. Wait until the site is completely dry and in the meantime you can get your applicator ready. Peel off the lid from the sensor pack, unscrew the cap from the sensor applicator and line up the dark mark on the applicator with the dark mark on the sensor pack. Now place the whole combo on a hard surface and press down firmly on the applicator. This will load the applicator with the actual blood glucose sensor. When you lift the applicator you now have the only chance to see how big the needle is. It's quite big but the insertion doesn't hurt you won't even feel it and the needle doesn't stay in. So don't worry and just go ahead, place the sensor over the side and push down firmly and then gently put the applicator away. As you pull up the applicator the needle will come out and the only thing that stays in is this tiny filament which is used to take the readings and you won't feel it at all as you use the sensor for the next two weeks. Next I'm going to show you how to activate the sensor, start getting your blood glucose readings and set up the alarms. But before we do that let's talk about today's sponsor. US Med is number one distributor of Freestyle Libre supplies in the US. It's a white glove service, so they take care of everything. From coordinating your diabetes supplies needs with your doctor and insurance company to ensuring timely, reliable and safe delivery directly to your home. They remind you to reorder when you are running low on your diabetes supplies. Click on the link below for more information and let them know Type 1 Talks sent you. Now there are two ways how you can activate the Freestyle Libre 2 sensor. Just click scan new sensor on your phone or your reader and place the device directly above the sensor until you hear a beep. This will start a 60 minute warm up period, after which you will be able to scan again and see what your blood sugar is. The warm up period is a perfect time to set your alarms and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. But before I do, please keep in mind that unfortunately you can only use one of these devices, the reader or the phone, to receive your glucose readings and alarms, not both. So think about which one you want to use before you start the sensor. If you decide to use a phone, which is what I do, you need a phone that supports NFC and Bluetooth. But don't worry, most newer phones have these available. The mobile app you will need is called Freestyle Libre 2 if you are in the US, or Libre link if you are anywhere else in the world. Now as the warm up period is running we're gonna set the alarm levels and alarms can be set in the alarm section. You might need to configure phone settings and allow permissions for the Libre app to receive alarms but when you do that you can set your low glucose alarm anywhere between 60 and 100 milligrams per deciliter, your high glucose alarm anywhere between 120 and 400 and you can also activate the signal loss alarm which will warn you when your phone or reader is not able to receive the data from the sensor and this usually happens when these two are too far away from each other or when there is something in the way blocking the signal. All these alarms can be turned on and off anytime and you can choose from two different sounds. The sound levels of the alarms follow the sound and vibration settings of your phone. When you use the reader you can just set them up on the reader directly. If you don't want the alarm to play a sound and appear on the locked screen of your phone, you can turn off the do not disturb function for each of the alarms. This will prevent all the alarms except for the critical ones. Once the 60 minute warm up passes, the device will let you know that the sensor is ready. And so you can go ahead and scan again to get your glucose reading. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the system is using Bluetooth to alert you when your blood glucose is running too high or too low depending on the exact alarm levels you set. It will not show you what exactly your blood glucose level is with the alert. It will only tell you you are too high or you are too low. You always need to scan to see the actual number, current trend and latest graph because the actual blood glucose data is only transferred using the NFC technology, not Bluetooth. And this can only be done when you place your device on the top of the sensor and scan. Keep in mind that the sensor only holds your blood glucose data for 
eight hours. So if you don't want to lose any data and you want all the blood sugar data to be transferred from the sensor to your phone or your reader, you need to scan at least once in eight hours. If you scan in nine hours, you will have a one hour lag in your graph. The thing is, if you want to get the most out of your Freestyle Librate 2 sensor, it's not enough to apply it and set it up correctly. You also need to avoid critical mistakes that many users are still making. So once you've ordered your Freestyle Libre sensor from US Med, don't ignore this video where I talked about four most common mistakes and how to avoid them. Click it and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao.